In today's video, I wanted to take a look at one of the problems that you might run into while you're modeling in plasticity. So here we have a junction between all these different faces. If we wanted to throw a fillet along both of these edges on each side, you'd notice that we can't. So this is what I'd like to address today is how you can actually get fillets on all this and make it work. Um, keep in mind, this is just one way to do it. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. But what I would do in this case is I would go ahead and I would select all these bottom faces. I would hit Alt-J. That way I could separate that bottom out. Now let's just take a look at the top. So what we really want is we don't want three pieces going along this edge. So what we'll do is we're going to grab this face and this face, and we're going to delete them by hitting Shift Backspace. Now what you're going to notice is we still have these three pieces. Now we can run the Delete Redundant Topology, but you'll notice that a lot of times on cases like this, it won't do anything. So what we can do now is we can go ahead and select one of these edges and hit the backspace key. And now you'll notice I only have two. So if I do it again, it makes it one. So let's do the same thing on this side. So now it's one. So now what we can do is select each one of these edges. We can hit shift J. We'll say, okay. So now we have one piece. Now let's hide that. Let's bring back our lower part. We're going to select each of these top edges and hit shift J. Now we're going to select the top face. We're going to move that up a little bit. And actually, let me show why. Because what's going to happen here, and I'll do this first. If I go ahead and grab both of these edges, hit B for bevel, and then I go ahead and throw a bevel on there. What you're going to notice, we zoom in, you have a gap. So we want to fix that gap. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this top face, and we're just going to pull it up a little bit to get rid of that gap. Now when we bring back both of our pieces, we notice the gap's gone. So now what we need to do is hit Q. We'll select our top piece. We'll shift select our bottom. We'll say Union. Let's try that again. Select union and then OK. So now they're joined together. We have our beveled edges up there on the top. So now what we can do is go ahead and throw all of our fillets down on the bottom. And you'll notice that everything works really well. And then we can go ahead and select this last edge. And you can throw a chamfer or a fillet on that now. So hopefully this helped you when you run into this problem. Um, this is a pretty rare use case, but I do run into it from time to time. So I figured I would share my method for getting past it. Thanks for watching. And if you liked the video, please hit the like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.